Meg she, Meghan Markle and Harry's fallout from the royal family came at a time when William's royal role took on increased significance. The future king, William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, have, in years past, increased their public presence, transforming themselves into the youthful image of the modern royal family. Next year, he celebrates his landmark 40th birthday. It is thought that William's journey to this point has been arduous, the prince for a time acutely aware of the mistakes made by the firm, including his father, and desperate not to take the same path, according to Robert Jobson, a royal author. In his 2006 book, William's Princess, the veteran reporter reflected on how much William had learned from Charles and Diana's fateful and unhappy marriage. Their relationship was, in the end, not a love match. Mr. Jobson wrote, William has already proven himself determined not to make the same mistake. A source told the author, William is acutely aware of the past. He knows that his position brings with it real difficulties with one's personal life. He knows that his father made rather a hash of things and he is determined not to do the same. He and Harry think it is good that their father has found contentment in later life, but knowing the heartache their mother suffered they don't want to suffer in the same way. Both of them are determined to marry for the right reason for love and love alone. Mr. Jobson commented. Perhaps this is why William in particular is so stubborn and resolutely private. Charles, with this in mind, had provided a more emotionally open parenting style for William compared to what he was brought up under, Mr. Jobson added. He continued. Unlike his father, and contrary to the general perception of Charles, William is fortunate to have a parent who is prepared to listen and bend with the times. Charles today happily allows William and Kate to share a room at Highgrove when she stays. He has the loving and sympathetic nature of a man who has suffered. A palace insider told the author, The prince is not an overbearing man with his children. He knows they have experienced immeasurable pain with the loss of their mother at such a tender age and he in many ways has overcompensated. I am not saying he has let them run wild but he certainly has not tried to run their lives for them in the way, perhaps, the Duke of Edinburgh did for him. Meanwhile, both William and Kate have opened up about the difficult time they had following Prince Philip's death in April. The blog and Twitter account, Gert's Royal Replies, sends letters to the Windsors and shares their responses online. After sending the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge a condolence letter, they replied and said the kind words were of great comfort at this difficult time. The reply came in a Kensington Palace envelope, emblazoned with the family's royal crest and with a royal mail stamp fixed to the front. It is uncharacteristic of the royals, who tend to follow in the firm's stoic philosophy, never complain, never explain.